Alright. Check it out. Part 2. Merlin style steady cam. Arm vest. And this one I'm going to show you how to build the arm. I spent about 20 bucks on it. Not too much. I already had the PVC pipes. A 1 inch kind of had them laying around or scrap. Anyways. Check it out man. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, so here's the, the arm I made for the, the Merlin style steady cam. Built it out of one inch PVC pipe. Yeah, I'm about to take this guy apart and reassemble it back together step by step. So so you have an idea on how to build this thing. Here's the springs and then I'm also gonna show you how to make these little brackets right here too. That's kinda important, you know. Alright. So here's what I got uh Designs I made on Photoshop. These are all the holes I'm going to be punching out, drilling out, and then this holes I want to just drill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and glue it to this sheet of aluminum. This is like, I don't know what gauge that is. Alright, so you need four of these. You need four one inch PVC pipes cut eight inches with the holes drilled out about half an inch in, um, but drill out straight through. Okay, and make sure they're straight because, you know, I messed up right here and I screwed it, drilled it cockeyed, so I ended up having to rotate it 45 degrees and then. You know, redrilling new holes. <clears throat> but you need four of those. You need this guy, three inches, and then you drill a hole about a half inch in, straight through. Okay, make sure you get that straight. Uh, as far as the hardware goes, you need about six quarter twenty bolts, well, an inch and three quarters long, and quarter twenty bolt. This one's about uh, three inches long. It's an all thread. Need some turnbuckles, some springs. These are about five pound springs. Uh, depending on your camera size, you may have to, you know, do the math and figure out how much your camera weighs and blah blah blah. But we're shooting with DSLRs and five pound springs. I think it will work, will do the job just right. And then this is a 3 8 3 8 bolt. I think this one's 3 inches. What I did was I took some Teflon washers, wrapped it around with electric tape. And this is a half inch PVC pipe. Cut that about 1 inches long and then shoved it in there just like that. I may have to run some screws in here or maybe glue it down, epoxy it or something. But this is the part that's going to be holding your Merlin Merlin steady cam. So this is, I guess, kind of important. Um, actually, all these parts are important. If you want to make it work, then you got to do it just like this. All right. So I've already got this one put together, somewhat sorta. Now what I did was I put um, one and three quarter inch, three uh, quarter twenty bolt. Through the furthest holes, because whenever you close them up like that, these will actually be the farthest out. And then you got uh, the closest together, which would be these two, and this is three inches long. So, this is how I got it set up. Alright, now you're going to put uh, your nuts on them, just like that. And then you're going to have to run nuts all the way down these guys okay make sure you still got a little bit of play on there take your your
turnbuckle with the springs installed on there and put it in there just like that. Make sure it's still got a little bit of play on that. And you want to put another nut on it. Now, you see how I got that one a little bit too long? So you may want to go with a two and a half inch. Um, but what I'm, gonna, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to chop this off. But yeah, you can go with a two and a half inch since it's a little bit longer than, than what I needed. But, you know, it's always better to be on the safe side. Okay. Now you build the other one just like this. Okay, you put the springs going the other direction. What's going to happen is when you put your middle pieces, you don't want your adjustment bolts to hit each other. All right. It's all still pretty nice and flexible. Now I've already got this side right here. Already got the hole drilled out for this, this piece. 